Okay. Good morning to one and all. Uh, good, um, good morning to one and all. Today we are discussing about uh, uh, minimum cost spanning tree. It is minimum cost spanning tree. In minimum cost spanning tree, there are two types of methods. The first one is Prim's algorithm. Second one is Krushkal algorithm. First, what is meant by minimum cost spanning tree? It is the minimum cost spanning tree. First, we are considered tree. It is a tree means suppose a, uh, a tree means suppose uh, a graph it is a graph a graph has n nodes it is a graph has n nodes contain exactly n minus 1 nodes suppose if any graph it is if any graph has n nodes it is if any graph has the n nodes n nodes the nodes it contains exactly n minus 1 nodes it is suppose 3 contains n minus 1 nodes Suppose the graph, it is the graph with the n nodes contains less than or uh, equal to n into n minus 2 edges. So next one, spanning tree, it is spanning means, suppose we have connected undirected graph, it is undirected graph and connected graph. The connected every node reach from every another node. Undirected, that is undirected means the units do not have associated with the direction. The spanning tree, it is then spanning tree of any graph is connected subgraph uh, in which there is no cycle. So spanning tree it is, the spanning tree means a graph it is, scanning, scanning means a graph it is, span, uh, spanning tree of any graph is connected subgraph in which there is no cycle, that is in which there is no cycles in the tree. Just to consider no cycles in the, uh, no cycles in the tree graph is called spanning tree. For example, it is a graph. It is a graph means the first diagram is first diagram is a graph. Suppose the any tree. It is the any graph. It is any graph without any subgraph. It is any subgraph without cycle. Without cycle means it is no no cycles is called spanning tree. Suppose for this graph, there are four types of spanning trees. That is, there are four types of spanning tree. First is one type of spanning tree. It is, it is has no no cycle it is no cycle just it has one cycle second one is it has another uh, spanning tree uh, that is another type of, it is another type of, it is there are four types of uh, spanning trees that is in four spanning trees that is in four training sprees there is no cycle it is in first it is in first day and second or third and fourth there is no cycle for example it is here suppose uh, the graph it is the graph is one suppose the graph has six nodes that is six nodes means there is every every node has n minus one that is n minus one edges suppose here a b c d e f six nodes six nodes for any spanning tree that is the any spanning tree has means five nodes that is one two three four five it is one spanning tree suppose same year one two three four five another span tree and third one one two three four five year another part that is in any spanning tree that is in any spanning tree suppose there are n nodes that is there are n nodes the n minus one nodes that is the n minus one uh, edges is called spanning tree it is called spanning tree so you are calculating the minimum cost of spanning tree it is the minimum cost of spanning tree the minimum cost of, um, spanning tree it is because by electrical power or electrics or savers electors or telephones you are finding the minimum cost it is suppose you want to uh, supply the a set of houses that is new subdivisions that is electrical power or water or service lines or telephone lines you are finding minimum cost spanning tree it is the minimum cost spanning tree so to, uh, to keep your cost down you can connect these house with a spanning tree for example of uh, power lines or by using waters however house are not equal distance apart and reduce the cost into your to minimum cost spanning tree so you are ca calculating the minimum cost spanning tree it is you are calculate the minimum cost spanning tree the minimum cost spanning tree you are calculating the minimum cost spanning tree suppose g equal to n comma a is connected in undirected graph where n is a set of nodes here n is a set of nodes and a is a set of n and this a is set of n edge. Each edge has given non-negative length. The problem is to find the sub, uh, subset of T of edges. That is a subset of T of edges of G such that all the nodes 
uh, remaining connected with only edges in the tree are used and the sum of the length of the edges in the tree are small as possible as z is connected at at least at least one solution so you are finding you are finding a minimum cost spanning tree that is the minimum cost spanning tree in minimum uh, cost spanning tree that is minimum cost spanning tree you are finding minimum cost spanning tree suppose there are n nodes that is there are n nodes it has n minus 1 edges only simple formula it is suppose n n edges that is n edges uh, n edges it has n minus 1 edges suppose there are two methods to find the spanning minimum cost spanning tree that is there are two basic algorithms to find the minimum cost spanning trees both are in greedy methods first one is krishkal algorithm that is second one is prims algorithm that is there are two types that is there are two types of algorithms to find the minimum cost spanning tree that is there are two find uh, there are two uh, methods to find the uh, uh, spanning tree that is minimum cost spanning tree suppose in krushkal algorithm that is the first one is in krushkal algorithm the selection of choose the edges in increasing order of length that is in krushkal algorithm that is in krushkal algorithm the selection function that is the selection function choose the edges in increasing order of length selection you know, selection order length uh, order length uh, without ring too much about their connection previously choosing the edges except never they it forms cycles increase the order of length without uh, increase the order of length without worrying too much about their connection in previous so except never form the cycle suppose you are selecting the edges that is you are selecting the edges of by selecting the edge first we are considering the minimum cost as well uh, edge next we are uh, select the next minimum cost edge in krushkal algorithm in krushkal algorithm first we are select minimum cost edge next we are select the next minimum cost edge next we are select the next minimum cost edge suppose if we are selecting the any edge if any form is any any uh, cycle is formed just reject the cycle that is if suppose the result forest grows until the all the trees in the forest suppose for example it is when model the situation of network then the problem is find the minimum cost uh, minimum cost uh, connector for the network suppose there is one uh, graph it is one graph to find to find the minimum cost edge that is to find the minimum uh, spanning tree by using krushkal algorithm first we are select minimum cost it that is first we are collect minimum cost it that is in our graph it is in our cost in our graph the first minimum cost it is a comma b next minimum cost it is c comma d and that is here 3 here 4 next one here 5 b to c is 5 next to 6 same 5 same 5 here 5 and next one is here 5 so you are uh, taking any one 5 next one uh, 6 next one seven and next one eight sorry first two minimum cost edge is two next one three next four five six and next one is seven and next one is eight in krushkal algorithm it is in krushkal algorithm first you are select minimum cost edge in krushkal algorithm uh, you are uh, considering the edges with the minimum cost consider mi minimum cost edge first next we are collected next minimum cost edge next next we are collect next minimum cost edge next we are collect next minimum cost edge next we are collect next minimum cost edge next we are connect next minimum cost edge that is in krushkal algorithm that is in krushkal algorithm to find that is to find the minimum cost spanning tree first we are connected in krushkal algorithm first we are connect minimum cost edge that is e comma d next we are connect uh, select next minimum cost edge that is a comma b next we are connect next minimum cost edge c comma d next we are connect next minimum cost edge c comma d suppose if any cycle that is if any cycle is occurred uh, in, in uh, cycle is occurred just reject the cycles so for example it is for example first that is ed that is ed is 2 next we are consider a b a b is 3 next one c d sorry a is a is sorry a e d e d is 2 a b is 3 and next one is a e a e is 4 
here uh, there are two fours that is the a is the four and next one is cd is four next one bc that is bc is five and next one is ef ef e ef is five and next one a cf what is cf 60c 7h so by using critical algorithm that is by using this critical algorithm first you are selecting minimum cost edge that is here minimum cost edge is 2 so here red color is first to select the short edge in the network 2 next we are select the next minimum cost edge that is next one it is 3 here red color in the second edge it is a equal ab equal to 3 second cost edge that is select the next shortage edge the first shortage it is ad equal to 2 the second shortage edge that is the second shortage it is 3 so ab is the second shortage edge it is ab equal to second short edge so select next minimum cost edge that is the next minimum cost edge is here there are two minimum cost edge here cdr is one of the minimum cost edge or ae a is another minimum cost edge you are select any one minimum cost edge that is either uh, either uh, cd or a so next minimum cost edge that is the next minimum cost edge is a so first one first one is first minimum cost edge is uh, ed the next minimum cost edge is uh, next one uh, b a a b a b next minimum cost edge is cd next minimum cost edge is a e so next minimum cost edge that is the next minimum cost edge is the next minimum cost edge is five suppose if you are selecting five it make form own cycle so in any spanning tree it is three means there is no cycle so suppose you are selecting bc it is it's form one cycle it's form one cycle so reject it is here it is here reject bc it is reject bc reject bc and next to select next form ef that is ef is from e to f if e to f it forms one uh, one edge so the total it is totally the number of nodes that is the number of nodes is one two three four five six seven nodes that is in seven nodes we have six that is we have uh, you have uh, six nodes that is the six nodes uh, that is totally totally and total number of nodes is one two three four five six nodes only you have six nodes we have only five nodes that is the five nodes one node second node third node fourth node fifth node so by using that is uh, by uh, by using by using critical algorithm first you are select that is first you are select the minimum cost edge that is two next we are select the minimum cost edge three next we are select the next minimum cost edge uh, cd or ae next we are selecting four minimum cost edge next next we are select the minimum cost edge bc suppose you are selecting uh, bc as minimum cost edge that is the bc as minimum cost edge uh, minimum cost edge that is the bc as minimum cost edge it forms the cycle so reject it is reject the bc and select the next minimum cost edge that is e comma f so the total cost that is the early vertex has been connected and the solution that is the solution is e b e d a b c d a e f e total three weight is fighting uh, 18 so the minimum cost spanning tree that is the minimum cost spanning tree is minimum cost is 18 it is the minimum cost is 18 so next one so the main that is the main aim of it is the main aim of, aim of spanning tree it is the main aim of spanning tree is used in electric power or water service lines and telephones to find the minimum cost spanning tree. So first in critical algorithm, that is in critical algorithm, first you are selecting minimum cost edge, that is first one, two, next you are select minimum cost edge A B, next you are select next minimum cost edge C D, next you are select next minimum cost edge A E, next you are connect next minimum cost edge B C. Suppose you are selecting B C, it forms cycle. So reject B C. Uh, reject BC, it is reject BC. So PC, it forms a cycle. So reject BC and select next minimum cost edge five. It is E comma F. Next we are select, it is next we are select A comma, it forms one cycle. Next we are select B comma F, it form one cycle. Next we are select C comma F, it forms the cycle. So uh, reject, that is reject A comma F and B comma F and C comma F. 
so the press spanning tree that is the spanning tree has n nodes the spanning tree has n nodes it contains n minus 1 edges so here totally five blue color there are four blue color edges one red color totally five there are six nodes that is totally the spanning tree that is the spanning tree has n minus 1 no, n minus one edges. The total time cost is eighteen. So it is the minimum cost of spanning. The every tree it is the every it is the every tree has more than one uh, one spanning tree, but it has only one minimum spanning tree. It is by selecting minimum cost edge. It is one of the method by using Kruskal algorithm. Next one, Prim's algorithm. It is the Prim's algorithm starts from the arbitrary of vertex root that is arbitrary of vertex root at the eighth, eighth stage add a new edge that is add a new branch that is new edge to the tree already constructed so in second method primary uh, prims can uh, prims algorithm start at any vertex that is you are starting any vertex that is a vertex or b vertex or c vertex or d vertex you are starting at only any vertex that is any vertex you are connect uh, you are connecting new branch that is new edge to already constructed algorithm also when all the vertex graph it can reach suppose for example select any vertex suppose in our example first you are select at vertex a vertex a so the vertex a connected minimum cost edge that is the minimum cost edge is three so select the short edge connected to the vertex a Suppose in our example, you are selecting your vertex A. Suppose in your example, you are starting at third vertex or fourth vertex or E vertex. Suppose in our uh, select any vertex, so you, are, you are selecting in our example A. Suppose you are interested in B's select, you are selecting B vertex and select the minimum cost edge that is A. Or you are select C, select the minimum cost edge too. So first we are select any vertex. Suppose in our example, that is in our example, first we are select A as vertex and select the minimum edge, that is minimum edge connected to vertex A, that is three. Next we are select, that is the next we are select next to vertex, that is next to next to edge connected to minimum cost edge between A and B. That is the connected A to A or B, that is A or B mean the minimum cost edge is A equal to four. Suppose in Prim's algorithm, that is in Prim's algorithm, you are select any vertex and connect the minimum cost edge. Suppose in our example, first you are select, that is first you are select, first you are select A, A connected to minimum cost edge B. Suppose the select the next to edge, that is the next to edge connected to either A or B node. So suppose the, A, the edge connected to A is four, seven, and connected to B is A, that is the minimum cost H is A comma E. So you are selecting next minimum cost H is connected to A or B is A connected to E, it is four. So A comma four. Next we are connected is, next we are connected, next minimum cost H connected to A, B, E. It is next we are connected, um, next minimum cost H connected to B or A or E. Suppose uh, A con B connected to F, it is 8. A connected to F, 7. And next one, uh, next one, uh, uh, E connected to F, 5. And next one, uh, A connected to F, 7. So you are connected to minimum cost edge, that is, it is 5, uh, 5, or, uh, 5 or 7. So you are connected next to minimum cost edge. Sorry, sorry. Next. A, 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 B, E. In A, B connected next to minimum cost edge is 5 or 2 or 7 or 8. That is in 5, 7, 5, 2, that is the minimum cost edge is 2. So connect next to minimum cost edge that is 2. So the next that is select the short edge connected to any vertex already connected. That is, it is E. It is E connected to E. So totally uh, 4 edges. Next we are connect next to edge, that is uh, next to edge, that is the next edge uh, minimum, that is the next edge connected to uh, minimum edges. Suppose already connected is three. Uh, suppose E, B connected to five, and uh, next one here five, next here mm, four. So D to E, D to C, one, two, three, here three. D to C is, that is the 
the minimum cost is connected to what is the select the shortage already connected to vertex is d to c so next one is d to c so next that is dc so next to connect next to minimum cost is that is e to 5 is totally the vertex that is the the graph has six nodes that is the graph has six vertex the spanning tree has five nodes that is five edges one two three four five so totally the spanning tree it is the spanning tree by using prims algorithm it is by using prims algorithm the spanning tree has five oh, the spanning tree has five edges that is the five uh, edges having six nodes so the total time complexity is 18. So the spanning tree it is, the spanning tree means, suppose the spanning tree has more than one solutions. The spanning tree has more than one solutions. All the solutions is called feasible solutions. Suppose in our example, it is in our example, the A represent a graph, it is. The graph has three spanning trees, that is. The three spanning trees is called feasible solutions. In three feasible solutions, there is one optimal solution with the minimum cost, that is. In the spanning tree, it is. In a spanning tree, suppose the graph, the graph has four spanning trees. But in four spanning trees is called feasible solutions. In feasible solutions, there is only one spanning tree, that is. There is only one spanning tree. A minimum cost spanning tree in four feasible solutions there is one there is one there there is uh, there is only one there is only one one tree has minimum cost spanning tree is called optimal solutions so in greedy method it is in greedy method by you are using it is in greedy method means you are finding minimum cost spanning tree there are different types of spanning tree for every graph it is there are different types of spanning tree for every graph but there is only one there is only one uh, spanning tree minimum cost of spanning tree is called feasible solution that is feasible solution the every tree has yeah every tree has n nodes it has n minus one edges suppose in any tree the any tree that is the tree means the tree has no cycle suppose the the graph has n nodes the tree has n minus one edges so you are finding minimum cost spanning tree minimum cost spanning tree that is the minimum cost spanning tree suppose the every graph has more than more number of spanning trees but there is only one spanning tree there is only one spanning tree by using two methods the first one is by using crucial algorithm in crucial algorithm first you are select minimum cost edge that is uh, two next select next to minimum cost edge three it is uh, next to minimum cost edge three first to two next to minimum cost edge three next to minimum cost edge four here there are four uh, edges that is select one four next to are select next one four next to are select next to minimum cost edge suppose you are selecting bc it forms cycles so three has no cycle so reject bc and next to select ef it is so it forms so it forms one uh, spanning tree minimum cost spanning tree same what is the same uh, procedure used for prims algorithm first you are select mean uh, first you are select uh, starting at any vertex you are not starting at a vertex suppose you want to start at like uh, e vertex e to s that is first select e to d next you are select uh, connect minimum edge from e to d that is four so you are starting at any vertex that is either a or b or c or d in our example you are starting at a Suppose you are interested, you are on to select at B, you are start at B and first of all, select the first minimum cost edge. Suppose you want to select the F, first you are select minimum cost edge, it is seven, eight, six, eight, at first you are select five, next. So whatever it may be, at least you are selecting any edge, first A, next you are select minimum cost edge connected to already existing connected vertex. So the difference between Prim's algorithm and Kruskal algorithm is in Prim's algorithm, first you are select first minimum cost edge, next to are select next minimum cost edge, next to are select minimum cost edge. But in Prim's algorithm, first you are select any vertex, that is any vertex, that is either A or B or C or 4, first you are select one vertex, the vertex find first minimum cost edge, the next minimum cost edge is connected to already existing vertex existing edge that is select the second edge that is suppose the second vertex is connect already existing vertex select the short edge connected to any vertex already connected that is a b e f 
so you are select the next vertex already connected by a b e t so that is four so you are selecting d e next we are selecting e f suppose you are selecting next to it that is uh, b c but it forms the cycle so there is no reject b c and next we are selecting e c f reject next we are selecting uh, a f rejected its form cycle next we are select b f it rejected so suppose any vertex that is the any graph has six any graph has the n vertices it can uh, the spanning tree has n minus one suppose in our example there are six there are there are there are six that is there are six vertex it has five edges that is one two three four five so in a spanning tree it is in a spanning tree it is in a spanning tree there are five edges so in spanning tree we are using that is we are using only uh, two methods that is prims algorithm and crucial algorithm by using greedy method that is by using greedy method that is by using greedy method you are finding minimum cost spanning tree suppose you are having multiple feasible solutions but in greedy method you are directly finding the feasible solution uh, sorry directly finding optimal solution without finding any feasible solutions that is without calculating all feasible solutions uh, feasible solutions we are directly calculating uh, optimal solution that is the optimal solutions meet minimum cost spanning tree so thank you thank you m and all tomorrow we will discuss about the greedy method that is greedy method by using knapsack problem that is in knapsack problem uh, you are finding optimal solution in third unit in any problem that is any problem you are directly finding optimal solution by using greedy method without finding uh, greedy method without finding feasible solutions you are directly finding optimal solution by using greedy method in any problem that is in in knapsack problem or uh, knapsack problem or spanning trees or optimal storage and trips or single storage problem directly you are finding optimal solution without finding feasible solutions this is called greedy method so minimum cost spanning tree okay